What up dudes? So another question that I get asked a lot is, um, is it strange for me to throw harder in games than it is in bullpens? Or somewhere along the lines of, why is my bullpen velocity so much slower than my game velocity? And is that normal? And then, um, you know, like what do I do? Or what's the reason why I can't throw hard in a bullpen, but I can throw hard in a game? Okay. So for me, looking at that, it's, it's literally like exactly how I was growing up. And when I say growing up, I, I mean like when I was 18 in professional baseball to probably my eighth or so year in professional baseball because I could never replicate my game velocity in bullpens or in any of like stuff like that, right? So I remember specifically because in off seasons, you know, once radars and all of these kind of like pitch metrics tools came about like i would i would use those in my bullpens and in my you know running guns or pull downs and all of that stuff and i would always get so discouraged because like all off seasons long i'd be like radar and all this stuff and i'd be like at 90 per se and maybe a bullpen maybe even like 88 86 sometimes and i feel like pretty dang good but then knowing that okay when i'm in a game i'm 95 plus so like it's it's tough right especially if you're in an off season because if you're in an off season and you're in your training and your one goal is maybe velocity development and then you go out and throw your bullpens and you're feeling pretty froggy and then you go out and like you let it heat and the freaking radar guns saying like 88 and you're used to throwing 95 and you want to be 98 it's discouraging so um for me in in my experience with this and seeing other guys is is is, is just that it's an interesting dynamic that some guys are just prone to meaning that some guys just throw slower in bullpen settings or in flat grounds or stuff like that and pull down uh, pull downs running guns so what do you do is it a is it a huge issue i don't know i guess it would be a huge issue in the sense of this we live in a in a, in a generation now where there's so much emphasis being put on you know videos and getting gaining notoriety through the use of you know a bullpen video that's thrown on twitter that's seen by a bunch of scouts and recruiters and all this so i would say that it could be harmful in the sense of if you need to get a job or if you need to gain notoriety um, because if you go to film a bullpen session and you're notoriously known for not throwing hard in bullpens but you're trying to impress people via video or maybe even their scouts at that bullpen but you don't throw hard in that bullpen because you've never thrown hard in bullpens that's where it could be a negative but um, you know i would just say if your game velocity is always going to be in a, in a particular area that you're comfortable with then i wouldn't put too much emphasis especially too much mental emphasis on your velocity in bullpens or like i said pull downs flat grounds practice setting type throw variations because um you know your your money's made in games obviously everyone knows that so yeah i think there's just you know something to do with the adrenaline like i said i was i was always a guy that you know as soon as a guy stepped in the box I was just different. And I remember it, this, it dawned on me too, cause um, I was watching footage of my 18, maybe 17 year old self throwing um, a sim game. And I think it was right around, it was right around baseball season. Cause we had a radar gun, maybe the, a school's radar gun or something, but we were able to radar my throws in this, I was in high school in this sim game. And I remember, you know, I, I threw like one inning where there was no one in the box and I was just kind of throwing to like warm up. And this was me at 17. So I threw pretty hard at 17. I was like 85, 86 in my, my warm up tosses. And then as soon as in, we started like that actual sim game and someone stepped in the box, like for, I didn't change anything. At least I didn't feel like I did, but for some reason, 91. 92, 92, 93, just because dude, like some guys in the box, competition, adrenaline, all of that stuff, you know? Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, uh, the last thing that I wanted to touch on was kind of piggyback off the uh, idea that I mentioned about the generation that we're in with the, the ability to get seen off of a video or stuff like that and how, you know, you throwing hard in a bullpen could obviously be beneficial for getting a job or getting seen and you're hearing all these stories about guys throwing on a radar gun at a stadium and getting a contract from it so obviously it's beneficial there so um, the the thing that I wanted to mention was it wasn't until I started my comeback journey after lat surgery that I was finally like able to express really or to me, pretty high velocities in bullpens. I think you guys are seeing it a lot that have followed my you know, Instagram and, and stuff like that. Thus far, as I'm, I'm able to throw now in bullpen settings like 93, 94, 95, which is very encouraging. And I think the biggest reason that I was able to accomplish that was because it was almost an adapt or die type thing for me in my development, in my, you know, in my shoes, in my career because if I didn't, then I wasn't going to be able to, you know, get seen in videos that are posted on social media in hopes to get a contract. You know, it's like I said, it's, it's, it's adapt or die. If you want to get a job, I think if that, that, you know, takes place in your head and you kind of believe it true in the sense of, I'm not going to get a job unless I do this, then a different animal comes out and I think that's how I was able to start throwing a little bit harder, not even a little bit, like a lot a bit harder in bullpen type settings. So um, long story short, I don't even know why I said that. I've been talking for a lot, but um, to wrap it all up, I guess you would say, is uh, it's not super alarming. It's not gonna be something that is extremely detrimental to your development. If you just notoriously throw slower in bullpens than you do in a game, I think it would be actually a common thing, but just know that it will benefit you to be able to replicate the stuff that you have in a game in a bullpen setting when need be. So um, hopefully you can take something from that. Hopefully you just enjoyed watching me talk with a beard bun in. Um, but as always, it's your boy Robbie Rowland. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, podcast, website. What else do I have? A LinkedIn now. I just got that like three weeks ago. I don't know what to do with it. It's cold outside. Okay, dudes. Much love. <laughs>